I mean, it's, you know, if it's a cloudier day, you're gonna have less production, obviously. Places like the East Coast, where it's a lot more overcast and they have a lot more weather, it's not as lucrative um, as the cost balance for how much you're gonna get out of it versus how much you're gonna pay for it. We have more sunny days here than any other state, so it really makes sense here in Colorado to uh, put up solar. The systems have come down a lot in price. There's a lot of financing options and ways to pay for it over time, and the systems last a really long time. So once you've paid it off or however you're doing it, you're, you're just saving money throughout the whole process. Call somebody and get an audit and have somebody come take a look at your house, because chances are you're gonna have a system that's gonna save you money. You know, and you always think that you need education to get into solar, and you don't, because I came in not even knowing how to use a hammer. <laughs> we need people, so if you have an interest, like, you could probably get in with little to not much experience in construction or with tools or, you know, there's a learning curve of working on a roof and working with electricity. It's pretty dangerous, but um, our training's really good. You know, they kind of just throw you right into it, and you're up on a roof, and you kind of learn on the fly. There's not just working on the roof and installing solar, there's people in the office, there's salespeople, there's warehouse people, there's people in all aspects, just like a regular business that you can get involved with. What I found was that solar installer was actually the number one job opportunity in the U.S. based on the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics. Also, what I learned was that the technology was at a point where it has the opportunity for widespread adoption. And seeing those two things, I just saw the boundless opportunity in the industry and was so excited to be a part of it. You feel like a total bad butt up here, you know, yeah. especially being a woman. So I do the site visit, so I go collect the, the data initially and then I come back to install, which is totally a mind blower for, for the families because they look at me like, you know, no, no, I got this, just watch. Any female can do it. No matter what walk of life, you know, how tall, how whatever, you can do it. When I started looking at what I could do, I didn't know first if I would be able to get a job in the industry and second, have a leadership role at a company that I truly align with its mission and its vision. And I have both, so I'm really proud to be where I am right now. We're greening the grid, so um, the more solar panels we put up, the less fossil fuels need to be burned by the utility company, um, which for a lot of people is a, is a good um, incentive, you know, for them with their lifestyle, uh, as well as tax credits. Um, there's incentives through the government to get tax credits uh, for going solar as well. These vans are designed to be totally off the grid, to go out to the middle of the desert, park for weeks on end, you know, not driving, and as long as you have good sunshine, you can be parked indefinitely. You can really thrive. Is it everything Instagram makes it out to be? No, you know, but it, it is very, very doable. You could speak to your landlord or your apartment building and see if they have any, you know, program or if they want to put up energy on buildings. Also, there's a lot of little portable solar stuff, like even just like little solar speakers and things like that that you can get familiar with. Yeah.